Hi, welcome back. I will continue adding some more jQuery effects to the Loso project. In this video, I will be adding animation to the different section of the Loso index.html file. Let us do it. Okay, this is the index.html file of the Loso. We need to add some animations like to these buttons, download, take a tour and also to why choose us and also to the testimonials features purchase now so i think we need to add animation to the each section and to add the animation we will add animate.css library to our project it has a very great functions like you can see it gives 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 you a different options for the animations it is a very great library you see you can play around with its options along with this animate.css we will use the woo.js library it is a very light weighted library and it will help to reveal the animation on scroll reveal animation when you scroll and very animate.css friend so do you see when I am scrolling all of the animations are working perfectly so we need the animation to be performed on this page while the user scrolls so therefore we need both of these libraries so let us download these libraries I will first download the animate.css file and uh, then I will download woo.js file I have added uh, both of these links to the resource or files you can check them so download the woo.js file I will move to the dist folder and I will download the minimized version of this library let's download the woo.admin.js file I will click on the raw and I will save it on the desktop okay let us move these two files animate.css and woo.admin.js to the loso project and I will move the animate.cs file to the CSS file I will rename it to animate.css and uh, I will move this to JS file let us add both of these libraries to the index.html file this is the index.html file let us add the animate.js file Let us move this above the style.css to avoid any mistakes and I will add the woo.js file at the bottom of index.html file. Okay, now we have added both of the libraries and at this point we need to add some classes which are from animate.css and which is from woo.js file to the multiple sections. I will start adding these classes to the header elements and in the header section we need to add animation to these buttons. Let me show it to you. Home. 
let's add some animation to these buttons before i add classes to the elements we need to initialize the woo.js object to make it working so i will add some custom javascript or jquery to the custom.js file document dot ready function okay let us check the documentation for woo.js file how to use Okay, we have added the animate.css file already and we have already added the woo.main.js file and we just need to initialize this object. And I will paste it exactly here, not this one. I will also use a strict mod for this of op options too. Okay. So now we have initialized the woo.js file and we have also added the libraries. Let us add the classes of animate.css and woo.js file to the elements where we want the animation. And we'll start with the buttons like these are the two buttons in the header section let us add animation to these two buttons it is very easy to add animation to these two buttons like we just need to add one class from the woo.js like woo and one class from the animate.js so let us add it we will add it after these classes like woo and then we need to fade in left class and uh, for the take a tour class we will add woo from the woo.jquery and it will fade in right this is a class from animate.css file it needs to be inside classes okay now it is good let us see the result of these two classes in the browser I'll refresh it do you see fade in left and fade in right this is just because of adding these two classes who fade in left and who fade in right this class who belongs to woo.js file and fade in left and fade in right belongs to anime.css file it is very easy now to add animation to the rest of the elements i will continue adding the animation to the less to the rest of the section like about us testimonial features and the screens and the other parts of this page so let us start adding animation to the other parts okay let us start adding uh, an animation to the about us section i have already made a list of um, animations so to make it easy to add these th things like uh, the about iphone needs fade in left and with data food duration of one second and data food delay of 0.5 second these are the data attribute these are the attributes for the elements like you can see on this page for the woo.js file data dash woo duration change the animation durations and data dot woo dash delay delay before the animation starts so these are the additional attributes with which helps with the animation so let us start adding some animation to the about us section 
so I have already figured out and I have already made the list of these animations so I will just look in these files and then we add it this to the loso project so we need foo dot fade in left and with these addition attributes for the about dash in phone iphone class so here we have this is i think the image about dash iphone yes this is the image so we need to add some animation to this image so let us add it i'll paste it here it looks like there is some okay fine mistake let me figure it out first we need to add the classes inside the class list like these will go inside the classes and the additional attribute will go outside the classes like we add attributes okay let us see the result of these classes in the browser do you see do you see let me refresh it again so you can see it again so it is fade in left i think fade in left and with some data duration and delay of 0.5 second and data duration of one second so i will continue adding the more animations like uh, fade in right and with some attributes it is for the whole section for whole this six column yes for the left side okay for the right side not left side for the left right side i will add this to here Okay, I need to fix it. Okay, classes are inside the classes list and the additional attributes are outside the list. I'll save it. Okay, do you see? Let us add animation to these list too. And it requires woo fade up with data duration of this. Okay, I will add it to the first item. And the same way it will go with the second item. And the same way it will go to the third item. Let us see the result. You see. These are the effect of animate.css and woo.js file. Let me refresh it and show it to you again. Refresh and on scroll with the help of woo.js. Okay, fine. Moving forward, let us add animation to the testimonial.cs file. I will take help to the from this list. I will delete this. Okay. We need woo bounce in down class. This is the testimonial section. I'll add it exactly here. And I'll save it. You see, bounce in down. So, okay, we have applied animate.css to the testimonial, testimonial section moving forward to the feature section i will delete this from the list okay let me add css to the title of the feature section this is the feature section and this is a title section and yes this is exactly 
you want to add it here and no not here sorry we need to add it here okay now it is fine and the feature section also needs some more animations which is on the left side on the left column we need the fed in left animation and on the left on column 4 here we need it yes exactly and on the middle feature section we also need we need to add these classes to the images and here we will add CSS to the animate.css to the middle image of the feature section and on the right side we also have a list of the features and I will copy this and it is fed in right data duration of one second let us see the result of feature section in the browser you see let me refresh it again and do you see the feature section okay I will move forward and I will add some animation to the purchase now section now I will delete this one and the, in the purchase now section there is a button no we need to add animation to the whole row so I will copy this and I will move to the purchase now section this is the purchase now section and this is the row and the whole row needs animation you see okay moving forward to the screen section we need to add some animation to the screen sliders this is the screen slider section so here we need to add these classes let us see the result do you see so animation is working perfectly okay let us add some animation to the counters I will delete this you don't need it okay it needs to be bounce in left and it will be applied to the container of the row container of the counter so this is a counter section and this is the container and let us see the result you see now let us add animate.css to this whole image so I don't need this now to the download now section and it will be fed in up with data view duration of one second and it will be applied to the eight column with two offset This is the download now section and here we will add the classes so it is fed in up so do you see the animate.css effect okay let us add an animation to the available on section 
and I need to copy this and it should be bounce in right bounce in right so this is available on section and I need to add it to the container section container div exactly here yes exactly here now do you see we refresh it and now you will see all of this animation okay let's add animation to the contact us form so it should be the the main container for the contact us should bounce in it is just bounce in i will move to the contact us section and it will go inside the container and there is also some more to add like uh, contact dash us dash form should bounce in it should also bounce in contact dash us dash form it should also bounce in and the social icons should bounce in left So it should bounce in left social icons. Not here. The whole column. Okay. Let us see the result of these animation classes to the contact us form. Okay, do you see? Social icons are bounce in left and the other are bounce in simple bounce in bounce in I will refresh it you see so now I am done with adding animation to all of the sections and you can see how the animation is working very beautifully and if you scroll down you can see all of the animation with bounce in with fed in left and right do you see perfect well we have added animation to the multiple elements of the sections and I think we are done with adding the jQuery effects I will see you in the next section. Thanks. Animation to the rest of the elements. I will continue adding the animation to the less to the rest of the section like about us, testimonial, features and the screens and the other parts of this page. So let us start adding animation to the other parts. Okay, let us start adding uh, an animation to the about us section. I have already made a list of um, animations so to make it easy to add these th things like uh, the about iphone needs fade in left and with data view duration of one second and data view delay of 0.5 second these are the data these are the attributes for the elements like you can see on this page for the woo.js file data dash duration change the animation durations and data dot dash delay delay before the animation starts so these are the additional attributes with which helps with the animation so let us start adding some animation to the about us section so i have already figured it out and i have already made the list of these animations so i will just look in these files and then we add it this to the loso project so we need who dot fade in left and with these addition attributes for the about dash info iphone class so here we have 
this is I think the image about dash iPhone yes this is the image so we need to add some animation to this image so let us add it I'll paste it here it looks like there is some okay fine mistake let me figure it out first we need to add the classes inside the class list like these will go inside the classes and the additional attribute will go outside the classes like we add attributes okay let us see the result of these classes in the browser do you see do you see let me refresh it again so you can see it again so it is fade in left I think fade in left and with some data duration and delay of 0.5 second and data duration of 1 second so I will continue adding the more animations like uh, fade in right and with some attributes it is for the whole section for whole this six column yes for the left side okay for the right side not left side for the left right side I will add this to here okay I need to fix it okay classes are inside the classes list and the additional attributes are outside the list I'll save it okay and do you see let us add animation to these list too and it requires who fade up with data duration of this Okay, I will add it to the first item. And the same way it will go with the second item and the same way it will go to the third item. Let us see the result. You see? These are the effect of animate.css and woo.js file. Let me refresh it and show it to you again. Refresh and on scroll with the help of woo.js. Okay, fine. Moving forward, let us add animation to the testimonial.cs file. I will take help to the from this list. I will delete this. Okay. We need woo bounce in down class. This is the testimonial section I'll add it exactly here and I'll save it you see bounce in down so okay we have applied animate.css to the testimonial testimonial section moving forward to the feature section I will delete this from the list okay let me add CSS to the title of the feature section this is the feature section and this is a title section and yes this is exactly you want to add it here and no not here sorry we need to add it here okay now it is fine and the feature section also needs some more animations which is on the left side on the left column we need the fade in left 
animation and on the left on column 4 here we need it yes exactly and on the middle feature section we also need we need to add these classes to the images and here we will add CSS to the animate.css to the middle image or the feature section and on the right side we also have a list of the features and I will copy this and it is fed in right data duration of one second let us see the result of feature section in the browser you see let me refresh it again and do you see the feature section okay I will move forward and I will add some animation to the purchase now section now I will delete this one and the, in the purchase now section there is a button now we need to add animation to the whole row so I will copy this and I will move to the purchase now section this is the purchase now section and this is the row and the whole row needs animation you see okay moving forward to the screen section we need to add some animation to the screen sliders this is the screen slider section so here we need to add these classes let us see the result do you see so animation is working perfectly ok let us add some animation to the counters I will delete this you don't need it okay it needs to be bounce in left and it will be applied to the container of the row container of the counter so this is a counter section and this is the container and let us see the result you see now let us add animate.css to this whole image so I don't need this now to the download now section and it will be fed in up with data view duration of one second and it will be applied to the eight column with two offset this is the download now section and here we will add the classes so it is fed in up so do you see the animate.css effect ok let us add an animation to the available on section and I need to copy this and it should be bounce in right bounce in right so this is available on section and I need to add it to the container section container div exactly here yes exactly here 
Now do you see? We refresh it and now you will see all of this animation. Okay, let's add animation to the contact us form. So it should be the, the main container for the contact us should bounce in. It is just bounce in. I will move to the contact us section and it will go inside the container and there is also some more to add like uh, contact dash us dash form should bounce in it should also bounce in contact dash us dash form it should also bounce in and the social icons should bounce in left so it should bounce in left social icons not here the whole column okay let us see the result of these animation classes to the contact us form okay do you see social icons are bounce in left and the other are bounce in simple bounce in bounce in I will refresh it you see so now I am done with adding animation to all of the sections and you can see how the animation is working very beautifully and if you scroll down you can see all of the animation with bounce in with fed in left and right Do you see? Perfect. Well, we have added animation to the multiple elements of the sections, and I think we are done with adding the jQuery effects. I will see you in the next section. Thanks.